I tried for many hours to get machine learning to run on NVIDIA's 6 series card. I tried a 6900 XT, I tried my 6700 XT, and I could get the libraries installed and it would show me how much bandwidth I have, but I couldn't get the TensorFlow models to run on those cards. But they're not supported, technically. So we're gonna actually do some AMD machine learning with a Vega 56, and I'm gonna show you how to. We are going to be trying to do TensorFlow machine learning with an AMD RX 6700 XT on Ubuntu. So in order to do that, we're gonna need the Rockham um, platform to make this work. So we're coming in here, we're just gonna scroll down to Rockham installation. We're gonna click on Ubuntu because that's the uh, operating system I'm running right now. So we're just gonna copy these commands. Working, you know. Install libnuma dev. And then when we've done that, we're going to reboot, huh? Looks like that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to stop. But basically, you're going to do reboot. And you can just restart your computer through the command line or however you want to. Now we're just going to add this key, uh, copy that over. We're going to grab this. We're just gonna do this echo command to get that key. Cool, looking good. Yeah. You can check the shop, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swing for the fences and say that it's probably okay. So yeah, we're just gonna install Rockham DKMS. It's gonna download a decent amount. Gonna do okay. Okay, so now we got that. So now let's try that opt rock them again. There we go. And if we scroll up, we got global flags and whatever. Not a large. Do we see what we've got? It's an AMD device. We've got our CPU, and then we've got our GPU, GFX, something, something. This may or may not work. Well, yeah, either way, that's there. That did output something. You've got AMD, that kind of stuff, and then we're gonna do this one. See if this will show up. Yep, we've got OpenCL and we've got that advanced, so that should be working. Now um, we might try to export the rock and binaries to path. Now let's install a few extra libraries to make sure we can do what we need to. We're just going to apt update again. Libs, Rock'em Libs. We're just gonna do that. That's uh, a big uh, thing. It says it's gonna take up 16.5 gigs of disk space. So now we've got that one working. Let's try to let's install our CCL. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna have to install pip because uh, this is a new copy of Ubuntu, new installation of it. So now we'll do that because that's the Rockham version of TensorFlow so we'll be able to do machine learning with that. See how the TensorFlow version is 2.4.3? Um, just make sure you see what version of TensorFlow Rockham you're installing so that you can keep it consistent. So I think we're probably good. I've got TensorFlow models. I'm just going to install these. See if we can run a machine learning vision thing with like MNIST or whatever. So 
So you'll need git. Then we're just going to clone that. Official one. Once we get there, we're going to go into vision, and then we're going to do image classification. And the one that we're going to try to do is mnist main.py. So when we do that, we're going to do this. Basically, we're going to copy that and that. So we're going to cd into models official vision image classification and then we should see the MNIST thing there we're gonna go like this but then we're going to oh yeah we're gonna change number of GPUs to just one because we only have one GPU so yeah we're gonna do pip install tensor flow so let's uh Let's just pip install dash r requirements txt. Yeah. So we're going to need to be in official and then we can pip install those requirements. We're going to pip install tf models dash official. Okay, so you see how it's installing TensorFlow 2.5.0. Um, earlier when we installed uh, TensorFlow Rockham, it was 2.4.3. So just make sure that you uninstall the TensorFlow version 2.5.0. We'll do that here in a second. I tried running the MNIST again and I showed that there wasn't a GPU thing coming through. I looked on GitHub and I saw if we reinstall libkubeless10 and export that as part of our path, it can help out. libkubeless10. Yes. Then we're going to add the following to our bash rc. Following this guy's stuff, we're going to export this into our bash rc. I mean, add it, so we're going to then bash rc, and we're just going to add it all the way down at the bottom. Just going to install that, add that there, right quit there. Then you're just going to reboot when that's done. At this point, I tried running mnist again, and I find an error, and I'll go through that with you. Okay, so let's see if we got our GPU installed so we have so it's saying that I can ignore this error if I don't have a GPU but we have the 6700 XT um, hooked in right now so I googled this and I wasn't able to resolve this because it's not supported so we're going to install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit I thought I had um, maybe misinstalled CUDA Toolkit, so I tried installing it again, and that's what you see on the right. But then I sudo apt installed the Rockham bandwidth test, and then I run the bandwidth test on the 6700 XT, and these are the results I got for it. I had to run uh, pip uninstall TensorFlow to uninstall TensorFlow 2.5.0 that got installed when we pip installed the requirements.txt, and then I had to run sudo pip install TensorFlow Rockham to get the TensorFlow that was uh, compiled for Rockham to work and installed back on my machine. The one I was using was 2.4.3, so just make sure that it's the same one that you get when you install TensorFlow Rockham when you import uh, TensorFlow and then check the version. All of it. So now let's see if we can do this officially. Then let's do vision image and then let's do the MNIST. Uh oh, what do we get here? We got some errors. So I googled it and um, the 
RX 6700 XT and 6900 XT are not on the supported GPUs for AMD Rock'em and so I'm pretty sure that's why we weren't able to get this to work with those cards. Go with the models because we've got a Vega 56 in here now. Um, then we'll do Visions, Image Classification, then we we'll go to MNIST and we'll do that and then while that's going you can check the status of your GPU by doing rockm SMI and it'll show you what's going on. You've got 99% of your VRAM used, your temperature is getting higher, and you've got 42 degrees Celsius, 43, you're using 93% of it, and there you go. It was using around 180 watts when it was doing that, and its performance cap is at 260 watts. So now that that's done, you can look at it again, your VRAM's done and your GPU's done. And yeah, that is how you get machine learning to run on a Vega 56. If you've liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.